What's going on, everybody? Yeah, I just want to get on here and share some tips on how to, um, you know, get your music and television, film, and, uh, you know, media in general. And um, I got my IMDb page pulled up here. Um, it's kind of a, a list of um, some of the shows I've gotten uh, my music in. And, uh, yeah, I wanted to share how uh, all that kind of happens and, you know, hopefully uh, get you on your way to getting your music licensed and, you know, out and out into, uh, <laughs> you know, the uh, licensing game here. You know, the thing about it, it's like you can you can direct license your music, you know, if you're independent or doing it yourself by, you know, hitting up these different like music supervisors and kind of networking in that way. But kind of an easier way, especially if you're getting started and, you know, don't know anybody and still you know, working on kind of developing that. You know, is to get your music and uh, different music libraries and and publishing deals like that. You know, those people, uh, the publishing people, um, that's kind of what their job is. They got the uh, the customers already, the clients. You know, whatever label you want to uh, put to them. <laughs> you know, and you know they they uh, generally split the uh, the licensing fee with you. You, know, you got the upfront money. You know, the sync license, but then you also have like back end royalties. You know, and when you get your stuff on in TV, um, you know, you get the back end royalties too. So, uh, to get that, you, you need to sign up with a performing rights organization. You, know, you have to check uh, your country, which that one one that is. You know, for me, I use BMI here in the United States. Um, but I wanted to share a uh, a resource with you guys. Um, uh, if you're kind of researching you know different publishing people you don't know which ones to go to you know you can do a google search but you know that's not necessarily the best way to um to to find good libraries you know so um, you know it's useful you know it's, it's not always the case so but like um the music library report um is a better tool you know for researching these things because it's a uh, basically a um a website created for um producers and music creators to rank these different uh, libraries and publishing people and share their experiences you know so you know there's almost like a fear sometimes of like signing some of these contracts and um, you know getting ripped off or not you know paid or you know any of that type of stuff and you know you can, you can go here and check out all the uh, you know all the experiences these other people have had and so if there's um <laughs> you know something negative you know about a uh, particular publisher you can make sure to steer clear of them but like um yeah i think it's like 10 or 20 dollars to to get like a week's pass to to check out the actual rankings you just go um you know to this member services and check out the library uh ratings and you can get like a top 10 I normally do that about once a quarter or so. You know, I'll check out um, if any any new libraries on there that's uh, you know popping for people. You know, and you know, pushing some 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 licenses and sales and stuff like that. You know, it's not always you know universal. You know, because it kind of depends on the type of music you make. You know, but you know, in general, it's 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 been a good correlation for me. You know, the top ones there, some of the top uh, sales I've gotten. So. Um, you know, I'm not going to kind of rip that off of him, <laughs> but I will show uh, you guys this one that has been consistently um, a high-ranking one on here, and also has been you know successful for me in, in as far as licensing and sales go, um, which is this website here. It's called Pond Five. And if you haven't heard of it, you know, it's, it's probably probably the best, um, if not top top three. You know. Um, marketplaces for like music licensing mainly because um it's like a one-stop shop it does uh, more than just music they got um you know footage and let me show you um all they got they got footage sound effects after effects photos illustration photoshop and 3d you know so it's like a um kind of a one-stop little you know media hub for like creators which is nice because you got someone who could be getting some B-roll for a show or, or a documentary or any of these types of things. And, you know, instead of having to source all these different places, they got it all in one spot. And they got they got thousands and thousands and thousands of <laughs> different assets to choose from. You know, 
they're real artist friendly, which I like. Um, you know, they uh, they let you set your own price, and they got kind of like a tiered thing. So, you know, if someone's gonna put it in, you know, some big uh, media production. It's not some you know small license. It's it's kind of um, tailored to fit the usage. Yeah, you know, so it's it's kind of fair then too for you know just people. I mean, if you're just doing some small project, you know, going to spend you know big bucks on a on a license, you know, type thing. But like, um, yeah, I, I suggest if you're you know you know producer, uh, musician, independent, you know, any of that type of stuff, get signed up with them. You know, get your music on there and you know start um, you know having it available. Uh, their 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 license agreement for uh, you know producers is like a non-exclusive thing, so you can have your music there. You can delete it whenever you want, and like um, yeah, you can also have that same music elsewhere, so you're not tied up or anything. You know, it's probably probably the best like non-exclusive um, you know library as far as like music is concerned. You know, followed maybe by like Audio Jungle or something like that. Um, but yeah, there's there's people on here. Um, mainly um i don't know it, it, it's like you, you could probably get by just with being on them because the sales <laughs> you know and especially if you're driving traffic to them you know it's like you got like a, a lot of organic exposure but like with uh, with any of this type of stuff you know your music kind of markets itself you know if it's good you know and so um you can use it to drive traffic and then you don't got to worry you know about like the uh you know you know the shopping cart features and shit you know it's just they, they handle all that and um yeah it works out real nice and i wanted to share another one um you know this is called uh to uh mybe music yeah and, and this has been probably um like the best um publishing thing for me as far as like licensing for tv um you know they i have like exclusive tracks with them and, and some I've created, ex you know, just for them. You know, I get, you know, like, uh, creative briefs every once in a while from from them when they're looking for something uh, specific. And, um, yeah, I, th I think in my last royalty statement, you know, I got, you know, I don't know, HBO, uh, VH1, MTV, Discovery Channel, you know, a whole bunch of different ones. I think most of those placements came from them. You know, so I, I recommend checking them out. Uh, kind of the like uh, the thing with them you got a couple of variations you got to make on a track you get like a full length and you got to do one uh, without like a lead instrument like a 30 second one <laughs> 15 second you know it's like it's got a little format you know that you got to submit it to but you know for me it's it's been kind of worth it you know as far as like um you know getting stuff you know on broadcast you know for you know back in royalties and stuff and so, yeah, I just wanted to share those uh, resources with you, just to uh, kind of get your feet wet. You know, there, there's there's lots of different publishing people, and it's almost like a uh, kind of a tiered thing. You can you can get you know super high end, you know, all the way down to to mid level or any of that type of stuff. And it really just depends on the quality of your music, and you know if it's geared for TV, it does better than you know if you're just um, you know, putting, you know, some, you know, some random thing, you know, you never know, but like, um, you know, if you're doing underscores and cinematic, you know, type music and <laughs> you know, it does a little bit different, you know, especially when it's geared towards that, but like, um, yeah, I just wanted to share that revenue stream with you guys, uh, how to, how to go about getting your feet wet into, uh, to licensing. I'll probably do another video here and, in, in the, uh, in the future <laughs> quote unquote you know it'll be now when you see it but like um yeah just about you know the best licensing you know for you know all sorts of different media because it's not just tv and film i mean you got video games and you know corporate ads and all sorts of shit that uses music you know and licenses it you know and you know it's all these different revenue streams that in end up you know really providing you like the freedom to create whatever kind of music you want to do you know without having to like um you know sacrifice your your creativeness to you know what a label wants or, or what other people want in general you know you can you can create and do the type of music you want to do and so yeah i just wanted to share that with you guys and um yeah other than that you know thanks for for watching and have a good rest of your day and god bless